game two of the current series. If you've not yet seen game one, you might want to go watch that first. Uh, there'll be a link in the description as well as in a button on the video. Game two now between Supernova and Slivko in the IEM Sao Paulo quarterfinals. Slivko is our Cyan or Teal Zerg spawning down in the 5 o'clock position on Antigua Shipyard. This is the GSL version of the map. While Supernova, OGS's Supernova, is our Red Terran spawning up in the 11 o'clock position. So the cross position so the GSL version forces. Yep, Supernova up again. Yep, GSL, er, uh, uh, Supernova taking that last game quite convincingly. A little bit of harass early on with Hellions and Reapers. And then transitioning into Marine Tank Banshee offense that was simply successful. Yep. Alright. I was a little, uh, unimpressed, I suppose, with the performance of those Reapers. They're supposed to destroy the enemy's entire main before they know they're under attack, right? Well, they seem to do that a fair amount, but... I mean, I, I think they were definitely cost-efficient at the very least. I mean... I wouldn't fear them. Barracks getting added at the wall off this time. That that completely failed. I was making a Mass Effect reference, and and you made a music reference, and it just man, missed. I I played that demo. I'm not worried about it. We got that. Earth's fine. Scout drone coming out. Natural getting dropped by Slipco. Yep, 14 hatch. Supernova grabbing his gas again while the barracks is in production. And Spongebob goes down. And the drone will be allowed in. The wall's not completed in time. Yep, first oh, no. marine. He turns around and now there's going to be another Spidey Poe finishing off the wall. Yep. He's going to patrol around in a star right outside by the natural there. Oh, no, the Marine comes out and the Marine. Away. Decides that instead he wants to live. Factory coming down right next to the barracks. Bunker going around right next to the expansion hatchery. Yep, Marine making its way out across the map, almost there. Another mar Marine well behind him, also coming out across. Yep, there will be five. no more Marines, though, as the barracks is working on building a reactor. Yeah, there are five drones here trying to swing away at the SCV in there, but... Well, it looks like they are going to get him. They do kill the SCV, so the bunker will have to be cancelled. Yep, bunkers. Yep, bunker is cancelled, and both Marines are headed back home now. A reactor on the barracks about to finish. Looks like it's going to swap with the factory, though. Factory is floating in anticipation. And Supernova expanded is natural. Four Zerglings chasing these Marines down. They're going to catch one of them. The Marines trying to get away, but he will not. Goes down by the central expansion location. Meanwhile, yep, the first two Hellions just about to come out. Yep, Barracks adding a tech lab. Second two Hellions on the way. Spinecrawler is just over halfway done in front of the natural. So it will not be done in time to stop these Hellions if they go for a run by right away. But there are Zerglings and a Queen here as well. Hellions getting held off, the spinecrawler is allowed to finish. Steam getting started. Factory getting off the tech lab, barracks getting built there. Second two Hellions now arriving, so there's four Hellions total right outside of Slifko's base. Spinecrawler moved up to the ramp of the natural. Oh, it's relocating again. Evo chamber going down to help make a bit of a wall here. 
Also, Roach Warren will be going down up to the front here to help create this choke point around the spine crawler. Yep, third barracks about halfway done, and starport getting added on. Factory building a, its own reactor. Supernova building another one of those massive supply depot walls across the top of his own ramp. Hellions just patiently waiting right outside the creep here, helping prevent it from expanding further. Forcing the queen back in. Lair tech getting started, as well as the macro hatch just about finishing on the main. Banely nest gets started. And there's a few roaches on the way. Oh, it looks like there was a pause in the game. Now ground carapace starting up. Stin finishes, zergling speed about halfway down. Couple of roaches come out to poke the hell in. Looks like they kill one. First couple medivacs are now out. Hellions are running away after that poke, hanging out by the central watchtower now. And Slivko drops his third. And yep, starts supernova. expanding his creep. Supernova moving his barracks and starport around, so he now has two barracks with reactor, one with tech lab. Combat shield's about halfway done. Starport just building Vikings. Roach speed on the way, and also melee ground attacks, or obviously ground attacks. <laughs> Looks like a drop in the, gonna happen in the main here. Two medvacs of marines. You guys are there, they kill an overlord. They stem in, run in, but there's zerglings and banelings to meet them. They reload, yep. and leave I'll for now. Get up. Slifka was momentarily supply blocked by the loss of that overlord, but he's back now. Yep. Sifka's third, about two-thirds of the way done, and the command center for Supernova's third is about halfway done. He scans and built in clears natural. out some of the active creep tumors. Also catching the spine crawler in transit. Zerglings out here, getting decent surface contact, but they load, the marines load up into the medevacs, they're now elevatoring up to the high ground. Marines running around to beat him. Ooh, Baneling gets a decent hit off. Seven marines down. Yep, down to nine marines in those two medevacs. And the Zerglings also catch a alien. Now elevatoring up to the high ground by the third. One Viking is destructible rocks. I guess he's trying to stop. A few more marines getting killed that time by the counter bush with or by the defensive attack with the roaches and banlings. So down to six marines in this drop. Yep, tank production starting up. And Supernova is establishing a couple of bunkers in that central region between his now three bases. Congressive shell is just finishing. Supernova lands in his third. Yep, immediately transferring SCVs. He has a total of 55 SCVs, while Slivko is sitting on 77 drones. Slivko is starting to spire. Slivko is expanding to the center and is able to defend it from that drop, which tried to harass it. Siege tech getting started up. Slivko is sitting on 144, 146 supply to Supernova's 116. And also continues to have a worker advantage, up to 82 drones to 62 SCVs. Yep. First set of six investors finishing now. Now Ooh, it's dropping a, a fifth. fifth. Yeah. But Supernova's uh, drop of Marines sees it. Yep. They're gonna shut that down. They stem in. There's a few Zerglings here. 
but oh, they still oh they get the kill that was not canceled. Yeah. Got to be very happy about that. Yeah, Slivko being perhaps overconfident about what those circlings would be able to accomplish there. Big force of marine medvac and a couple of tanks moving out into the middle of the map. Take out the roach that's holding the tower. Sieging up on that high ground also has a few bunkers queued up to help fortify that high ground. The siege tanks do have siege range onto the central base that Slivko established there. Yep, just shutting down all mining and taking out the gas. Taking out the gas, but the hatchery, one, the hatchery and the other gas also in range. Now the hatchery's going down, down at about yep. half health. Massive forces are lungs and festers, a couple banelings and roaches at the front of uh, Slipco's three bases. Well, it looks like he doesn't quite want to poke in there. A few marines with some scans, clearing out some of the creep spread. Or the creep tumors, anyway. The hatchery does go down. So could have just happy, I guess, to re-expand to what was going to be his fifth. Now corruptors being added, and they are transferring or er, morphing into brood lords. There are now seven brood lords on the way. A little bit of a drop here at the third, quickly being cleaned up, not accomplishing a whole lot. And now getting caught in a fungal, and it will die full of units. So we're actually expanding in kind of an odd spot, just south of Supernova's third. Yeah, expanding over by the 8 o'clock. I was just hoping that he doesn't get found, I guess. Drop coming in here by the 6 or 7 o'clock, that fourth base. It will kill or force cancel on the hatchery. Zerglings come in, forces to cancel. Let's get started the build right again. Another bit of an engage going on here. A bunch of bio units getting caught in a fungal. Broodlords are done, they're coming in behind this force. Yep, Slivko is maxed out. Supernova's on 170. Broodlord's gonna catch these four tanks. Kill one. Oh, uh, looks like they're. At least two of the other tanks might get away. Oh, not three of them do. Broodlord's now turning north, though. Cleaning up these tanks a bit. There's Vikings here to help defend, as well as some Marines on the ground. Big engage coming in as Lynx starts strolling in. Also Infestors. Neither side quite fully committing. Some Corruptors arrived to help against the Vikings, but again, both sides disengaging for now. One very brave drone with Slivka's army. He wanted to be a Zerglin. No mining has started at this base at the, I guess, the 8 o'clock yet, but. Broodlord's moving in and killing a Thor and a tank, then Vikings come in for the counter. Vikings getting fungled now, though, and the Corruptor's also engaging them. Marines yeah. come forward too, but the Zerglings match them. And both sides disengage. Meanwhile, there's a drop happening back by what uh, Slip Coast Natural. Just now getting cleaned up by some Zerglings. Or Zerglings trying to clean it up anyway, they're losing the fight. Looks like a medvac of Supernova has just found Slip Coast 7 o'clock base. And there are four Marines queued up to go shut that down. Yeah. A couple of Thors moving out. More in production. Meanwhile, that drop by Slipko's natural only just now getting cleaned up. The medevac's hiding in the corner with the last surviving marauder, and it gets shot down. Now, Supernova expanding to the 2 o'clock position, building the command center on the spot. And he has two other command centers just finishing construction in Lord's poking into the central natural. fortifications once again. Corruptors are here to help defend against the Vikings. Zerglings streaming in on the ground. Investors providing fungal growth support as well. And it looks like they're cleaning it up. Yep, Slivko yeah. is taking the center. It's just a lot of corruptors to deal with the two Vikings that were there. It's a lot getting morphed into Brood Lords now. Yep, there's six Brood Lords and three more, on the, or four more, morphing in. 
And some servants did show up to defend the 7 o'clock base. So Slipco does hold on to that, although he's only getting gas from it for now. Marine Thor Viking pushing back into this. Fungal growth making quick work of the Marines. Corruptors making quick work of the Vikings. Four tanks, or four Thors running away now. Yeah, Ooh, mains are mined out. A few big hits on the clustered Corruptors by the Thors. Yeah, a couple of transfuses though. On all slip codes, still pushing forward, still taking the better part of that engage. He did defend his 8 o'clock base. A bunch of Zerglings now still sitting there. More Zerglings joining the force out in front of the central position towards Supernova's side. Slip codes sitting at 181, Supernova's 140. There are eight Rudelords out here, as well as eight Corruptors, versus four Vikings, a bunch of Marines, and three Thors. Slipco now advancing in, Zerglings charge in, Rudelords providing support. Corruptors are not protecting the Rudelords quite yet, now, now they're in the way, helping kill the Vikings. And it looks like Supernova doesn't quite hold for now. He's down to just the Thors versus Rudelords. Yeah. A couple more Vikings arriving. Only a couple of th uh, corruptors remain. The last yeah, Thor the last Thor is being finished off. Basically dead. Yep, it dies. Oh, another one fresh off the production lines. Up at the ramp, though. Broodlords continuing to push forward. Queens yeah, and Brood infestors Lord. on the ground for support. Three corruptors now. It was now. very good at uh, this sort of war of attrition. Corruptors managing to catch the Vikings piecemeal as they get as they come off their production, fighting them one at a time. Transfuses keeping the Broodlords alive whenever they manage to get low. Slickthoe's push being uh, is starting to look like he's going to take it here. Seeing at 180 yeah. is Supernova's 195 or Supernova's 95. He's camping yeah. his production facilities. Supernova basically having with his Zergling hit on the third. Is just sort of losing all of his mining right now, so he's not going to be able to replenish much. Yeah, currently he has active mining nowhere. Yeah, like half the mining base between if he mule drop spammed at his 3 o'clock. But. That 2 o'clock base has a bunch of SCVs that he's built, and they're in. Oh, GG's. Yep. He had a bunch of inactive SCVs being built at that 2 o'clock base. Yeah, just not enough mining to sort of keep up with the war of attrition that the Broodlords were forcing. Yeah, yeah, Slivko managed to outmass and then do the slow Broodlord push, and it was successful. Tying up the series 1-1.